A new study finds the Moderna vaccine might be more effective when it comes to Ontario long-term care residents. A lead researcher says due to the Delta variant and fear about the fourth wave, every option needs to be looked at to protect this vulnerable group. Moderna and Pfizer vaccines are very similar. One of the differences between them is that Moderna has three times the amount of the the mRNA in it that encodes spike antigen as Pfizer does. So it's not maybe surprising that you make more antibody to the Moderna than you make for Pfizer. A study conducted by Sinai Health, funded by the Canadian government, finds Ontario long-term care residents who received the Pfizer vaccine had lower antibody responses to three COVID variants, Alpha, Beta and Gamma, than those vaccinated with Moderna. The Delta variant wasn't assessed. The study compared 198 long-term care residents to 78 caregivers and long-term care staff. Researchers found the response to the two vaccines were more common against variants of concern with residents. The antibodies needed to fight off the beta variant were undetectable in nearly 38% of residents who received the Pfizer, compared to 11.5% who received Moderna. We do this with flu vaccines, right? There's a regular flu vaccine, and then there's a flu vaccine for older people that has four times the concentration of antigen and has been shown to work better. Dr. Alison McGeer co-led the study. She says it's too early to definitively say Moderna is better than Pfizer for our older population, as there are other things to consider than just antibodies. We need to understand whether that translates to better protection or not. Long-term care advocate Vivian Stamatopoulos says, while it sounds like an interesting study, the most important thing to do is actually mandate vaccines for all healthcare workers. Really drawing a fine line, you are either fully immunized or you are fired because at this point you are putting vulnerable lives at risk. And in the context of Delta, we can't afford to rely on partial or non-immunized, you know, healthcare worker populations. Currently, there are three Ontario long-term care homes experiencing an outbreak. That's still too many, says Stamatopoulos. It entirely changes the quality of life for these residents and then they are confined and it significantly, you know, deteriorates their physical and emotional well-being. And it's simply not fair to them and all of the other vaccinated staff. We're going into a fourth wave when there's going to be a significant risk of outbreaks. Dr. McGeer says while this is preliminary data, she hopes the findings play a part in tackling the fourth wave. We're probably going to offer Moderna rather than Pfizer because there's a potential that those increased antibodies might, might offer some additional protection. This is an ongoing study. The next step will include taking a look at how high antibody levels are in vulnerable people after they receive the third dose. For City News, I'm Aliha Sheikh.